Alan Didak was back. Following an injury-interrupted start to the season, Collingwood welcomed the influential talisman into their lineup for the first time in 2012 as they attempted to improve their poor record in Brisbane, where they've won just twice in their past eight trips. They certainly couldn't have wished for a better start, with Travis Cloak on the money inside 45 seconds. And that's a fine start. Cameron Wood was next on the scorer's list. And it'll do. It's a goal. Collingwood have got two on the board. Then the Pies really rammed home their early superiority over Michael Voss's men with three majors in quick succession. And got Sinclair away, who runs in and kicks another one. That's four. At 34 to one, it was getting ugly for the Lions until they found a rare chink in Collingwood's defence. He put it through for a goal that they really needed. And they managed to get the benefit of the doubt on this video review, with Daniel Rich's shot going awfully close to giving the post a tickle. It's a goal, a tonic for the Lions. The second term began in almost identical fashion to the first, the only difference being the scorer's identity. Sinclair finds a way to sneak in for another one, that's two. The ever-present cloak kept the magpie machine humming along nicely, and there was no shortage of support from the younger brigade in black and white either. That's a big goal for the pies. A couple of Browns were sporting frowns for different reasons within the same passage of play. Collingwood's Nathan was a victim of the enemy within, while his Brisbane namesake misfired in almost astonishing style. That bouncing run up and he too has missed. That's three shocking misses for Brisbane, isn't it really? That must have been a sighter for the Lions spearhead as he made sure of his next crack at the sticks. Putting it through at last. It brought Brisbane back to within six goals of the Pies at the midway mark. 25 trailing 61. On the other side of the break, the Lions took another bite out of their deficit. Big task there with the angles, and in the end it's going to sit there for somebody to try and grab it, and somebody oh. does, and it's Carnesis. But that was merely Dane Swan's signal to stamp his authority on proceedings. That looks pretty sweet off the boot. A timely one for the Pies. Last year's Brownlow medalist produced two goals in as many minutes to quell the home side's mini revival. Not a problem at all. Collingwood were looking comfortable, perhaps a little too much so for their own good. And they lowered their intensity enough for the Lions to snare three straight goals. And this time you think he'd go back and kick the goal. Doesn't miss far too many. Into the Magpies returning hero to make his most telling contribution at the comeback. Welcome back. He's back and he loves it. Despite being in arrears by 33 points at the last change, Brisbane were determined to keep last year's runners-up honest. Got a bit of dash about him, but he can kick a long ball and he can kick a straight ball. Well, that's interesting to start the corner. Cool, calm and collected, Collingwood stayed in control. Just to keep them at bay and he struck it nicely. Keith Shaw provided something special for the promo reel. Josh Shaw, the acrobatic leap. As the dominant Pies powered past 100. His big wood comes in and slams it through for another one. Tyson Goldsack put the exclamation mark on a very successful mission to the Sunshine State for the Magpies. And he squeezed that one through. They led from go to woe and were never seriously threatened. Collingwood up by 17-14-116 to Brisbane's 8-10-58. A result that lifts them back into the top eight. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.